Jacqueline's here. Hope everybody had a great week. And uh hope everybody has a great Easter Sunday as well. So uh the last we uh worked on the lawnmower project here. Um we took the uh adjustment brackets off and that got the deck down to a bare deck to where we could start to um get it ready for paint sand that down and everything so uh and i also talked about the chute i said about how uh, the other chute the original chute for it is garbage so there's no saving that um i did go up to the donor mower in my shed and i took the chute off of that one and uh it actually it fits pretty good uh i'm gonna show you guys what it looks like here in a minute um I first have to um, take the get the bracket off for the old chute so I could put the new bracket on and uh, fit the chute to this deck the one that I got for it off the donor mower uh, I'm gonna have to use my cutoff wheel to cut it and cut the uh, old bra bracket off because uh, I tried to drill it out and it's not coming loose so I'm just gonna go ahead and um, use my uh, angle grinder with a cutoff wheel and cut it loose and then uh, I can prepare to drill the holes and mount up the other uh, mount which is actually a bolt on it's not riveted on it's bolted on so I'll be able to make that work on this just give me a minute here I'm gonna get the angle grinder uh, plugged in and ready to go and uh, we'll cut this other bracket off all right guys uh, I'm going to get ready to cut this bracket off here with uh, my angle grinder I have right here. I'm going to go ahead and cut this bracket off and uh, after that I'll show you how, how the other one I'm planning on mounting it up here. So let's do this real quick. About a little more work on this side. All right, let's finish getting this off of here. that off there okay let me uh, get the camera here and bring you on over and show you uh, how it turned out I'm gonna have to do a little uh, grinding on that just to grind that down 
I'm gonna take these over here and show you. So, we got that old bracket ground off there. There, it got focused finally. Now, as you can see uh, right here, yeah, there's still a little nub sticking up. I'm gonna have to grind that down with the. I'll just put a grinding wheel on my angle grinder there and grind that down. So, uh, give me a minute to get set up to do that, and I'll bring these right back. Okay, so what we're gonna do here, like I said, this one got this one cut pretty flush. Uh, this one still has a little nub that's sticking up, so I went ahead and I uh, changed out the cutoff wheel for a grinding wheel, and I'm gonna go ahead and just grind that nub down just a little bit. And then it'll be uh, grind it down flush with the deck, and then should be good to go with that. And we'll move on to the next step. So here we go. looks about good I'm gonna go with that okay uh, now that I got the old bracket cut off which I wanted to show you guys and have this off there pick that piece up now so there's the old bracket the one I just cut off and get the other piece here so that's what we just cut off that's gonna, it was no good anyhow. It was for the old shoot, wasn't gonna work. So, that's for the junk. All right, uh, so now I wanted to show you. This is the uh, shoot that I found. Uh, let me get these at a different angle here so you can see what I'm talking about. Now, as you can see here, I got, I found this chute, this is the chute off the other, the donor lawnmower, and uh, it actually, like the, the curvature of, you know, this deck where this comes off, this actually lines up pretty nice, I was looking, so, that's about what it'll look like, I hope it doesn't look goofy, I'm hoping that it doesn't stick out too far, it, uh, I know you can't see this side, but it, it, it lines up with the curvature of that side and it actually lines up perfectly on this side too as well. Now, probably wondering now that I cut that bracket off there, how am I gonna get this chute on? Well, so, I got this bracket here. This one's the one that was on the donor mower with this chute. Okay, so, what I'm gonna do is figure out as you can see you know it's pre-drilled this is a bolt on I'm going to uh, figure out where I need to put this and I'm gonna you know pre-drill the holes where they need to be I'm gonna bolt this this bracket back on and then that way I can re you know once it once it's put on where it needs to be I'm gonna get that all figured out once it's put on where it needs to be this will be in the correct spot and then I'll you know I'll be back I'll have a a good shoot a good use shoot to use so that's what I got figured out for that and uh, we talked about the washers as well I have some ideas for that as well so as I was saying um, now we got that bracket cut off there I'm able to oh, there goes my shoot it's very windy out today Anyhow, uh, I got that bracket cut off there and for the old uh, chute and I'm able to pre-drill the holes to mount the uh, bracket that holds this chute on and uh, it was on the last video I know I mentioned the chute and also um, the holes for the uh, engine mount bolts are kind of bored out from wear and tear you know they, they got bigger and it allows the engine to be wobbly on there because of that so what I'm gonna do are some ideas that I have uh, I had some ideas in the comments um, 
I appreciate that. Uh, some of the guys were giving me some ideas in the comments on what I could do with that, and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna what I'm gonna try to do here, and some other ideas that uh, I might try. Just give me a minute. So as you can see here, I uh, I have some different size uh, washers here. Um, some of the guys mentioned maybe I ought to try to work with some washers, you know, which these will bolt from up underneath whenever I do it. Um, but using some different washers to try to make up for the where these holes rounded out and got you know got bigger for wear and tear. Um, I'm gonna try this with the washers and also there's a product that uh, Permatex makes it's called metal filler and now it claims I'm sorry guys for the one it claims that once this once it uh, sets and hardens that you're able to sand on it you're able to drill through it and all that so what I was planning to do is you know use the metal filler for all the for all three holes fill these in and mark where they were and I'm gonna pre-drill or re-drill them back out to the right size and all that when I'm gonna re-drill them out to the right size and then uh, I'm also you know along with using the metal filler I'm also gonna look into using some washers now they mentioned using some maybe some uh, some rubber washers too which makes sense because it almost makes like a almost like a uh, a vibration mount and maybe with if I put some rubber washers in there that'll uh, give it some extra uh, what do you want to call it some extra help with the vibration of the motor so yeah that was some thoughts that I have uh, if anybody else has any thoughts uh, I, you know that'd be perfect if you want to put them in the comments I mean it's all up to you you don't have to but uh, any tips any tips are definitely appreciated okay now that we got that all taken care of I showed you you know my plans for the for the shoot now we cut that bracket off uh, I was able to put the put the shoot up there and show you like you know shows the weight fits and to me I think it fits pretty good um, it looks good it just seems like it might stick out a little far you know than other than other lawn mowers but yeah, it, it'll work. I just want to get something on there, and it's and it's very close, so I'm gonna go with that. But like I said, since we got that all taken care of, and I showed you how my plans for that, and we talked about the engine mount. Uh, I'm sorry, the bolt holes to mount the engine being uh, my plans for what I'm gonna do with that. Now we're on to uh, getting ready to sand this thing down. Um, I'm really, I'm really stuck with trying to figure out what I'm gonna do. Um, like I said, I want to try to keep. I, I wanted this project to be keeping this thing as close to original as possible, but I don't. With the stickers, uh, I'm gonna try with my heat gun to peel some of the stickers off of here and reuse them if, if once I get them off, they're even any good. Uh, now I want to show you uh, some uh, another problem that I'm running into. Just give me a second here, and I'm gonna flip the camera. All right. So you can see uh, we got this this caution sticker here. You know, do not use the mower unless safety devices, including shooter deflectors, are in place. So you got that sticker, and you got you know the the Kmart power. Yeah, model KM2000. And then you also got this, you know, another warning or important sticker. You know, you're supposed to read this ever, follow the owner's manual things. And on this side, this, this is where things are going to become a problem. This right here is not a sticker. That's painted on there. And I am not very artistic as well, at all, so... I, and I cannot and, and the other problem is is I cannot find I searched and searched up and down online to re to find a uh, reproduction of that sticker and I cannot find nothing 
the closest I came up to, the closest I came with that was on a website, and it's actually, it's called, uh, Mower Graveyard, I believe, and that's Old Dome with Lawn Boys, and the sticker is actually made for a lawn boy. It does say caution, place foot here when starting, but you can definitely tell it's a lawn boy sticker. I think lawn boy might even be, uh, in, at the top of the sticker, honestly. Also, this, all this, let me zoom you out here, all this around here, besides this sticker, this all is not a sticker either. I thought maybe that I would be able to do the heat gun trick and very carefully peel this off and reuse it. This is paint. This is all paint. And as I said, I'm not an artist. I'm not good with art at all, so... It might not. It might not no longer say Kmart. You know, Kmart. Uh, two. You know, 22 inch. I might just have to make this whole deck up here. This whole top deck. I, I'm gonna still paint it the white on top of here. But it's probably gonna be minus this because I, I don't. I don't have any ideas for uh, repainting that back on. Now, if anybody else. Oops, if anybody else has any ideas about that and you'd like to comment, like I said, uh, any kind of tips are greatly appreciated. Um, if there's any tips you can give me or anywhere you know that I might be able to get like a sticker recreated or something, I'd be glad to know. Um, but yeah, I'm, uh, I'm going to peel off the stickers that I can. Like I said, I can get this one off, this one off, and this one off. Now, I'm going to try to take them off as decent as I can. Uh, I, I, I can't even promise that they're going to come off and actually be worth salvaging to put back on. So, that's the part of the originality that I was trying to keep with the mower that I don't know if I'm going to be able to do, if I'm going to be able to make that possible. Uh, the only thought that I had is we have a local guy around here that he, he does... He does custom stickers and like vinyl and t-shirts and things like that. But he also does make stickers. I might go and talk to him and see. I took pictures of all those, all the stickers that are like the, the paint. The ones that look like stickers but they're paint. I took pictures of all that. And uh, I'm going to go to him. And that's like my last resort. Unless, you know, somebody else knows somewhere I can get it done. I'm going to go to him and see if there's any way he can recreate these stickers and make that Kmart 22 inch a sticker to put on there rather than being painted on. And then, you know, if I can do that, that would bring me back to where it's all, you know, back, you know, looking back to uh, original again. So that's what I got planned out with that. Well, now I'm going to take my heat gun and I'm going to try to get these stickers off that are stickers here and, uh, I'll show you that. Just give me a second to get set up here, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So, I've got my heat gun here. And i got a razor blade. And what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to heat this sticker up and get up under it with the razor blade and peel it off the best I can. And uh, I have one of those sheets in my eye. I have one of those sheets that uh, those window clings go on, like for Christmas decorations that I'm going to stick this to and hopefully when I go to get it back off I'll be able to get it back off of there but I haven't fully decided how I'm going to do that yet I don't want it to get stuck to the uh, the window clean paper either which I don't think it would but it might I don't want to get it too hot because I don't want to bubble up the, I don't want to bubble the sticker up more if I don't have to. Just trying to get that glue loosened up a little bit.
getting pretty hot. There it is. I don't know. I mean, I guess it came off halfway decent. And what I what I had plans on, a lot of the the glue, the stickiness on it, came off. So I'm going to uh, I'll just put some glue back on it. I could get to stick it back on. All right. So you get the idea. Um, just gonna keep doing that. I'm just gonna heat it with the heat gun a little bit and peel it and heat it and peel it until it comes off. I'm gonna get the rest of these stickers off and uh, I'll bring you right back and we'll get to the next part. I don't want to bore everybody and make you fall asleep watching me do this slow process of peeling these stickers off. I'll be right back. So unfortunately guys I can't get these ones off. I tried to get this one off and I tried to get this one off and even with the heat they're just if you can see it's just crumbling it's just the, the stickers are way too old they're just crumbling right off with the paint so it's a big time bummer i wanted to try to save them so i could reuse them but these stickers are way too old they're just so fragile and they just they just crumble up so Nothing I'm going to be able to do with these ones. I'm just going to have to uh, work on finish scraping them off. And uh, like I said, I got pictures of all of them. I'm going to try my hardest to try to source something on the internet, on, online, uh, to replace them. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find nothing. If I can't, it's unfortunately just going to have to just be painted, you know, just red with no stickers on it. Now, I was able to save this one. Uh, I'll probably reuse that one. And also, right here in this spot, you can see there's a hole. There's two holes. There's actually a little badge that goes on there. And I have that, and it's still in good condition. I will be putting back on there once this is all done, you know, all repainted and everything. There is a metal badge that goes on here that says, uh, this is actually made by Murray. It uh, says Murray, you know, Murray Corporation out of Ohio somewhere. And I'll be putting that back on. So I have that, and I will be able to reuse that sticker. I mean, it didn't come off the nicest, but I'll be able to use it. So, yeah, unfortunately, those stickers are garbage. There's nothing I can do. I try, you know, I tried to save them. But you can only do what you can do. Alright guys, like I said, tried to take the heat gun, heat them stickers up, I successfully got one off, the other ones aren't going to come off, I can't even scrape them off with the razor blade I have, I'm even trying to use the scraper on the end of my wire brush to do it, and they're still just kind of just coming up with the paint, so I'm going to see if my sander will take it off, uh, and uh, go from there, that's all I can do, so uh, let's look over here at the mower, and We'll get started with uh, sanding it a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to start sanding it down a little bit here. I'm going to work on just the sides. I'm not going to do nothing with the center. I'm not going to do nothing with this center yet until I decide what exactly I'm going to do with this. I'm just going to work on the outer edges and things for today. Uh, it's not going to be, I'm not going to fully get all the sanding and things done in this video. There's going to have to be a second part to this video as well. 
but uh, I'm gonna at least get a start on it anyway. So, I'm gonna use the wire brush here, and oh, by the way, I wanted to mention everybody, uh, brand new, I just got this today. This, uh, they call it a rotary sander, I believe, or something along them lines. Um, just got this today at Harbor Freight. Uh, they're originally 30 bucks, and it was on sale for $20 today, so I got a, got a deal on it. And, uh, you know, I never had a problem with Harbor Freight stores. I know some people, you know, talk down on Harbor Freight and say they're cool or junk and things, but I have quite a bit of Harbor Freight tools, and they work. You know, they work decent for what I do anyway. Uh, but anyhow, yeah, I just wanted to show you, I just wanted to let you know, and I just tell you about that. That's a brand new sander I just got there today just got it this morning so anyhow enough of that I'm gonna start uh, some of these some of these worst spots where the rust is right here as you can see I'm sorry about all the vehicles it's been a terrible day for recording the vehicles It's, this road has just been like a highway it's a back road and it's been like a highway all day long so I apologize, but anyhow, I'm going to uh, take the wire brush and I'm going to hit some of this heavier rust quick, and then I'm going to actually take the sander over top of that. Then, so let me get started. I'm gonna actually have to get some sheets of sandpaper and do some of this by hand, I think, too. Which is fun. No, it's good. I can sand some of this by hand. That's not even sure what I'll I'm just looking to scratch off the scratch off the thick stuff. I'm not really trying to get it down to the bare metal with this. I'm not even trying to get to the bare metal at all. I mean, some spots is already to the bare metal. Now, like I said, I'm no pro at this kind of thing. I mean, I can't tell you if I'm doing this the right way or the wrong way. I just kind of do it how I do it. Uh, if you like my description of my YouTube, uh, for my YouTube channel, I'm not a, I'm definitely not a, how to channel I'm more of a how I do channel so yep I just do my best and you know do the best of my ability I, I don't know if I'm going right or wrong but just the way I decide to do it I'm sure there's a lot better methods to this than what I'm doing yeah, sadly my my makeshift table here is starting to break on me I'm hoping to be able to get that stand with one of those uh pump up stands here soon. Also at Harbor Freight. Yeah, a lot of this paint is just flaking right off. I mean, clear down to the bare metal, so definitely, definitely going to be doing a coat, of, a coat, you know, a few coats of prime on this before paint. Because we're down to the bare metal in a lot of spots here. And I haven't even run a sander on it yet. This is just a wire brush so far. Like I said, I'm not going to do this center area just yet until I decide what I'm going to do about this because it's just. I wanted to kind of try to keep this as original as possible, like I said, but I don't think that's going to happen. Okay, that's about the best I'm going to get it with the wire brush. I just wanted to get some of the heaviest of the rust off of it here. And before I started running the sander on it. And I got most of the spots pretty good there. So, uh, I'm going to get the sander up here and uh, start running that on here. <laughs>
flip it, move it around here a little bit uh, so I can get the other side. Give me one second. <laughs> guys well this I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a shade real quick how, how things turn out uh, this is about all I'm gonna do so for, for today so uh, here's how it turned out and that's what I got done so far uh, like I said I got a little I got a, got some hand sanding I'm gonna have to do too I'm not gonna be able to do it all with the electric sander because you got you, know, you got your creases and stuff, you know, up in here and things like that. So yeah, I'm gonna have to do a little hand sanding too. But got a good start on it. Uh, in a lot of places, it kind of got a little farther down than I wanted to with the paint, but I had to get the rust off. And there's a lot of rust on this thing, so there it is. I just wanted to give you a little show, you know, a little walk around. And that's what I got done for today, so. Okay, guys. Uh, that's going to be it for today, guys. Um, thanks for watching. And uh, we will be doing the second half to this part, too, as well. So that'll be coming up pretty soon. Backwards out.